On this Father's Day, I'm gonna ask every father, what do you really want for your kids? You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm meaning. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words, I trust actions. I don't care what you heard, I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Everyday Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, and click the notification button over there and share my videos. Thank you very much. Please do check out above and below at the end for this month's special for Damn Collective Coaching. That's where we help people with their food behaviors. If they do have disordered eating, we can help you. Also, please do check out the damn cruise. That's for myself, Boogie2988, this whole fessor, obese to beast, my wife. We're going to be going to Haiti, Jamaica, and the Cayman Islands here May 30th of 2020 to June 5th of 2021. It is going to be an amazing time. You should join us. Today on Father's Day, I have a Father's Day message and question for all the fathers or anybody out there that acts in a paternal way. I'm so happy Father's Day to all of you, male, female, whatever you identify with, I don't care. If you are somebody's father, if somebody identifies you as their father, happy Father's Day to you. Is this what you want for your children? Do you want your children to grow up living off of fast food, being afraid to go outside without a mask on? when there is a deadly virus out there that for them is not that deadly. The under 70 uh, infection fatality rate is being shown to be 0.04 to 0.05. For under 70, that's 0.04 to 0.05. Now, this is a very deadly illness. We are in very scary times for people that are sick and immunocompromised and very elderly. But is this what you want for your children? Do you want your children being traumatized on a daily basis by what they see? Do you want your children to be forced to wear masks to their prom? Do you want your children to be able to hang out with their friends in large groups, have that type of camaraderie? What do you want for your children? We are in a time where hard decisions and hard choices need to be made. And we are putting ourselves, full on adults, we are putting our futures ahead of those of our children. And I find that to be horribly egregious. On this channel, not on my In My Opinion Course channel, but on this channel, I try to keep my opinion to a minimum. This is not the future that I want for my future grandchildren. This is not the life I want for them. I want them to be able to play and go fishing and be able to hang around their friends and be able to play sports and be able to do all these things. We need to make a decision because we know this virus is not that deadly to people under the age of 70. We know these things. Do you want your children to grow up in a land where they have rights to assemble to protest? Do you want your children to grow up in, in a land where they have a right to not you know, be stopped and searched? Do you want your children to grow up in a time when we can view everybody as equal? My plea to all the fathers out there or anybody that acts like a father is understand we need to start putting our children first. And that's my two cents a matter. My name is Alan Roberts. You can hit me up anywhere you want. Goddamn.